three days, but he came back to life, and now he says right now the father, although I'm sure he's busy, because he is judging people. I guarantee it. But um, uh, it's, um, I made up this short prayer. It's small, but it's, it's short, but it speaks volumes. And if you've never been saved before and you want to take Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, the one to pattern yourself after, to read the Bible about and do, uh, try to do, try your best to do as he does, you know, please pray this prayer with me. If not, if you have backslidden and you know you're back in sin, you're back in the devil's territory, you need to come back to God by also praying this prayer, anyone can pray this prayer also any time of the day. It works for anything. Okay, any of you out there now, if you are not saved or you are backslidden, repeat after me this prayer. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of my sins in word, thought, and deed. In Jesus' holy and precious name, amen. All right, then. If that's the first time you ever prayed that prayer, you are a Christian now. Welcome to the world of Christianity. If you had backslidden and you were back with Christ now, welcome back to the Lord. He never really left you, though. You left him. Stay with him, please. Stay with him. Some of you out there now need to stay with him. But um, uh, and that's wonderful. And as I usually say about baptisms right now with the devil's virus, it probably wouldn't be a very good idea to to do that the way I see it. It might be like too much cross contamination or something like that. But if it's possible and someone really wants to do, you'll get baptized. That's fine. That's fine. And I'm just saying, gee, if you died in between time, Jesus would know why. You couldn't have got baptized, so you wouldn't be a problem. So, but everybody does need to get baptized at a point. Hopefully, we'll get to the point we can do that. But, anyways, I just wanted to close out and uh, just say I hope I am, um, uh, you know, helped. Um, I am, um, uh, you know, uh, brought some of your, your, you know, your heart out to, you know, just to be touched and, um, uh, and you know, I just want to say, um, uh, if you like uh, my um, uh, podcast, you know, please subscribe. Please, I have a um, uh, um, uh, um, email address that will be sent at the end of the podcast. And um, uh, I am on um, uh, um, Spreaker. That's spelled S P R E A K E R, and iHeartRadio, YouTube, Spotify. Uh, Google Podcast, um, uh, uh, Deezer, and Podchaser as well. And most of these, I am number one. And as a matter of fact, like Google Podcast, I am number one in the religious section. So, and all the others, please, you know. And if there's you got, if there's any people out there, you know, you got family, friends, whatever. They're fixing to wind up in a gutter dead. You might want to let them download this and let them listen to my message, especially about the part about getting saved and, you know, where you go to heaven and being bliss forever instead of burning in hell and being in torment forever. That's the choice we have to make. Okay, well, now I would just like to personally, my Father Michael would like to personally Thank you, you know, for allowing me to come into your homes, you know, your hearts, you know, wherever your domicile may be, you know, a house, a trailer house, an apartment, uh, a condominium, uh, maybe army barracks, I'm not sure, but somewhere, wherever it may be, I just want to thank you for allowing me into your homes. And I want to close out with me giving you the blessing in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
due to some uh, technical difficulties, if you need to email Father Michael with a question or a prayer request, you can email him at empower your pa- empower your pattern at gmail.com. This one word, empower your pattern at gmail.com. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to Praying for a Hurting World. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, become a part of the Praying for a Hurting World family. This is Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministry saying until next time, take care and God bless.